So one of the real privileges as Chief Officer I get is to recognise how great our people are and tonight was one of those nights where I had the opportunity to present uh, Chief Officer commendations for courage to the crews that attended the Commonwealth Bank job in uh, fire in, in Springvale and of course another fire that occurred in, in Ann Street in Dandenong where a child uh, unfortunately lost their life but the crews did an outstanding job trying to save that person. Leading firefighter Frone. The initial call out was a man on fire at the Commonwealth Bank in Springvale. We were actually out at the time that we received the call doing a premise inspection so we are actually quite close to the scene so there wasn't much time to process it initially from uh, what we received and then obviously en route we were getting further information that were, I guess it was making the job, it was escalating the job in regards to people. When we got to the bank, initially it was, I guess you'd describe it as pandemonium, chaos. There's a lot of panicked people and there's smoke issuing from the bank. I guess initially from our point of view, our priority was rescue straight away. We knew that there was people inside from what was happening at the front and that was relayed by the incident controller, Senior Station Officer Jones, that um, we needed to get in there ASAP and start trying to perform some rescues. There's people in here, we've got to get these people out. And the more we went through and searched the bank, the more people that we located in there, I guess the gravity of it was just increasing as we went. And you know, it was really sort of hitting home that this was quite significant what was actually transpiring there. And then there's the added, I guess, the, the guy that actually lit this fire, where was he? So that was going through my mind as well. And I had a chat to the other guy that was in there with me in BA that you know, potentially he's still in here. We need to be aware of that. Yeah, well, like I said to some of the guys, you know, we, we're doing our job, that's all we're doing. We don't do it for accolades or for honours. We just do it because that's what we do. But it, it is nice to be recognised and probably more so for the other guys as well. Like, I think it's great that they've received this award. Oh, look, it just can't be just overly wrapped and so proud that our people work so professionally in what they do in command and control, in the search and rescue, to pull people out. And it's been a real honour to be here tonight to present in front of their families uh, due recognition for a job that is just well and truly beyond what would be the normal job of any firefighter. They did a great job. Yeah, Darren Padgett, uh, Senior Station Officer at Dandenong Fire Station. Yeah, look, we had a call about 10 past 8, grand final day, uh, Ann Street in Dandenong, a reported house fire, uh, just after change of shift. So uh, going down, we had uh, numerous calls received. Uh, we could obviously, where it was going, the location, a bit of smoke showing. So uh, we knew it was a fairly uh, going fire. Based on that, we yeah, had Hallam coming with us, uh, arrived on scene to find a two-storey house. Uh, the top of the st uh, back of the house was totally involved. Uh, a heavy, heavy smoke log coming out uh, the front of one of the doors and we were confronted with the parents of, of a child, a uh, family member and badly burnt, both of them badly burnt but the, the mum was really burnt hands, burnt face, um, screaming uh, the child was in, uh, inside up in the, in the top bedroom where all the smoke was coming from so obviously confronted with that, the parents trying to get back in to try and save the, you know, get in there do a bit. So uh, we tasked the crews and uh, uh, back then we only had a manning of three, so Pumpy, myself and the fiery, so he grabbed the ladder and pretty much on his shoulder and threw it upstairs and by then the second Danny Nong pumper had arrived and crews had gone up and, um, and yeah, gone in with the Hallam guys to do an initial search. We had pump issues, water issues, so uh, we had, uh, they came along and uh, yeah, did our search and unfortunately yeah, the child wasn't in that room, but yeah, in the, in the back room, but in the meantime, yeah, and like crews all in there, uh, the guys went well and above what our normal firefighting role is. Uh, they went in and uh, inside, up story, uh, conducting house, trying to find the, find the kid, and unfortunately, it yeah, had a you know, bad outcome. We were confronted with all the pressures. We were confronted with the, the parents, obviously the pressures, the neighbours, it was in a block of units. But the guys, yeah, as I said, went in above, in through the window, without a hose at that stage, nothing was going to do their search. They had zero visibility. It's not about receiving the ward, it's being... I think the biggest thing that we get out of this is the recognition for, for going and above and doing our job. Um, it's, it's the bigger picture, it's the, you know, the issues that we've had as a platoon with, with the loss of the life, but it makes it even harder. This is a, a, good rec a great recognition, not for what we did, but just to be recognised for, for something that we've done going and above, and it's, it's really nice to be, you know, as for a platoon, individually, it, it's, a, it's a really something to be very proud of, and I'm very proud to receive it. And, to have been nominated for it.
Look, I, th I think particularly um, in both these instances, our crews are running in when the rest of the public, including parents and family, are running out of the building. When you don't know whether it's a, an explosion or a bomb or whatever it is, our crews are still running in with a view to save life and property. That's really special and they did a great job in what they did and you can't help but be proud to uh, be a chief of people like that.